<sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. So wait, how? Which which sister? Brienne. I don't know. I don't know them. Yeah. Like you had to tell me like what they look like. I don't fucking know. You don't know what your own sister. I don't know how to describe her. She's blonde. Tall. They're both blonde. Tall. She lived Jeez. in Dearborn. Is she the one that came up and kissed you? Um, at your yes. Ah, I think okay. that one. Yeah. Okay. And I said, are you going to hit that? Because I didn't know who it was. You tell me you're going to hit that? That's my sister. Are you so you're going to hit that? <laughs> <laughs> we made these mashed potatoes in your grandfather's memory. <laughs> we, like you put, we put his ashes in. Oh I knew God. it! <laughs> that would be delicious. It's like, wow, he tastes great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Mm, grandpa. Oh. Like that you, just sounds like I'm having sex with you it's right like now. You, it's like you give him a kiss on the lips and then you're like, oh, that tastes delicious. Oh, you should be in mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just harvest your body. Have you ever for considered season. dying so we can put you in mashed potatoes? <laughs> yeah, actually, I thought about it. No! <laughs> <laughs> just slowly, like, shoving a fork into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, why? Oh, you're tasty, Grandpa. <laughs> I gotta eat ya. <laughs> I don't like that we're talking about eating my dead grandfather. Welcome back to Chin Strap Chaps, <laughs> Cannibal Edition. <laughs> he, I love my grandpa. I miss him very much. And I his do mashed too. Mashed potatoes. I really do. I really do miss your grandpa. I never met him, but he was delicious. <laughs> and I will forever remember pity those mashed potatoes. Yeah, pity we had to eat him at his own funeral. Yeah. You know, he he probably would have wanted it. <laughs> I don't know him. I love giving back. <laughs> love giving back to the community. Well, he was a serviceman. <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, there he we served, go. He served in the Navy. That's probably where he got it from fucking all those Japanese women. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know what army or what uh, world war he was in. He was in number two. Okay, yeah. He fucking all those Japanese women. He was women. in the big one. You know, no, my, my grandpa was from World War One. <laughs> He's like, damn, he, he he died old then. Yeah, he was really spry for being like a hundred years old. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Yeah, I guess. And then he just fucked all those Austrian German women. That's what that's what kept him alive. He kept stealing the youth of the Japanese whores that he was banging. <laughs> he fought in World War One and World War Two. I mean, dude, Japanese people age very gracefully. Yes, they do. So. That's what he was doing. He was sucking it out of him. Why is it? Okay. <laughs> this game is bugging, dude. I age gracefully, too. Yeah. That's why I look like a dumpster. A <laughs> dumpster. You see, my family My family looks really young, like, for the their whole lives, until, like, you get to, like, 60, and then, like, our hair... Our hair... That's the only thing. Our hair gets, like, gray really quickly. Like, Enjoy. I'll probably have gray hair within 10 years. Tomorrow. I already yeah. have, like, a decent amount in my hair. There's nothing wrong with that. Nope. I'm, but, gonna be, I'm gonna be bald in the next 10 years. But my family, like, we keep our really young-looking faces. Wow. I mean, have you looked at my mom? Yeah. She looks good. Mm-hmm. And she's, like, 50-something. So... I don't remember my mom's exact yeah, age. You don't know the age of your own mother. <laughs> no. How dare I, you? I don't even know the age of my sister sometimes. Or my brother. Isn't she like 29? 30. 30? Mm-hmm. Alex looks like she's still like 12. Yep. Yeah, she does look really good. Not in a bad way. My brother is, you know, two years older than I am. Mm. I completed a quest. Look at that. So he's 28. My sister's two years older than him. Wow. She is 30. And uh, I did the math in my head. My oldest sister is going to be, I think, 47 in 2019. Damn. Which is fucked up. <laughs> How many sisters do you have? She does two? not look 47. I've got three. Seven, three. 
She does not look 47, though. No. She doesn't the, even look 37. There's the two blondes and then the black-haired one, right? Yeah, yeah. So, the 47-year-old is the oldest? Yeah, huh. Okay. And then, I assume the black-haired one is the younger? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I think I think they're like... I think my one sister is, I think, like, on the verge of being 40, and then the other one might be maybe a year or two older than she is. I don't know. I honestly don't remember. And oh, then my, that guy helped. And then my brother, I know for a fact, is 37. Oh, my lucky number. Yeah. He's 37. That much I do know. Because his birthday is easy to remember because it's Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, what did you dress up as this year, Billy? Uh, disgruntled worker number 36. <laughs> 36, not 37? No, no, that's next year. Oh. Does zero count as a number? So you're at technically 37, but it's just labeled wrong? No, no, I, I, I was just called disgruntled worker. There was no zero. Oh. And uh, I skipped, I skipped like 15 of them. It started like... Disgruntled worker number 16. Oh, so you've been promoted over the years is what you're saying? Yeah. Like, I'm still disgruntled, but but I'm I'm slightly more money. Oh, okay. (laughs) I know that's how that works, but all right. You're the one who dressed up that way, so you know what's going on. Yeah. You know the ins and outs of that shit. We had a girl dress up as... uh, the one girl from uh, uh, fucking what you call it, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Of course, Sally. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. That actually, you know what, Melissa's uh, like, isn't it the lady that runs the building or whatever? Her name is Sally. She should have dressed up as Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. You see, our we had a we got a new guy. And his name's Sally. No, his name uh, is Dragon. <laughs> And uh, he dressed up as a horse. <laughs> no, he didn't dress up as anything. But uh, up as like a bowl of fruit. Like he is the assistant plant manager, and uh, I'm like, oh, you should definitely dress up as a dragon. And he didn't get it. <laughs> he got it. He was just being a dick. He's just heard it. No, own. no, he he's he's foreign, so he doesn't like no. understand everything. But like, he's a very nice guy. He says partner a lot. Oh. Partner. Yeah. So, yeah, I, uh... I'm like, yeah, you should dress up as a dragon. He's like, what do you mean? Because your name is Dragon. You know, dress up as a dragon. He's like, oh, oh, that's funny. And then he never did. (laughs) So, you know, I guess fuck me. Secretly, he's been hearing that his whole life. Yeah, probably. So he's just like, fuck this asshole. He's one of those people that, like, he's too upbeat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We all know somebody like that. I don't know who that would be in my life. Probably Derek. Probably Derek. Probably me. No, probably Derek. Probably me. Like, we, we also have a guy named Derek who is also super upbeat. He's the Stone Cold, I call him. Stone Cold Steve Derek. Because his, his last name is Stone. <laughs> Steve Derek. Man, yeah, he's like, uh, he's Terrible. far too upbeat. He's like, be sad like the rest of us. <laughs> and he's like, come on, guys, let's do this. I'm like, yeah. I've been here for over two years, almost three years now, and you are way too upbeat for this place. <laughs> be like everyone else and just hate it. <laughs> You're supposed to hate your job. Yeah, good swing, man. I'm gonna hit this <laughs> archer with my club. Fucking twenty feet away. We're going. We're, so right now we're going to the the Blue Moon Tower. Uh, you used to be able to see it. It's over there somewhere. And we're going to go fight the Griffin. The Gryffindor. The Griffin. Gryffindor. So Jason Momoa was on Saturday Night Live last night, mm-hmm. and they had a skit about the bad, the what was it, the big boy appliances or something? Okay, that was pretty funny. 
is like they were saying that women are now like making like more money than men in the workplace or something. So the men are staying at home and having to clean the house. <clears throat> but instead of making it, they like try to make it more manly. So like he's trying to put dishes in the dishwasher, but the door is like seventy pounds or something. <laughs> And then, like, the... Um, the vacuum was a ride-on vacuum. Yeah, the vacuum was, like, one of those, like, ride-on lawnmowers. <laughs> and then... And then the, the uh, washing machine was, like, six feet tall or something. It must be it must be really hard, work, like, being a writer on Saturday Night Live, because they just have to come up with shit, like, so quickly. Mm-hmm. Because it's, like, always so topical yes. and, yeah. like, you know... Well, that's how... That's how they do it, is by being topical. Because if you weren't doing topical jokes, you would probably run out of ideas really quickly. Yeah, right. That's just crazy, though. And then, like, I think, like, you know, obviously since they're, like, you know, doing it live pretty much, it's, like, you know, in between commercials, like, they're, the, the wardrobe department's probably going crazy, like, trying to get, you know... Everyone switched and yeah, because then like there was another segment where Jason Momoa was called uh, called Drago or whatever. Yeah, from fucking Game of Thrones. Because of course, yeah. Because he was so popular in that though, he said like nothing, and he he basically I just know he was stood only around. in it. He was only he was only in it for like what the first two seasons, if that, and that was it. Yeah, um, and technically in the second season, he's just like dead. He, he's comatose and yeah. he's just laying there. Yeah, while uh. Electric slide, okay. While um, no, because it, no, it's uh, windy. Oh, okay. While well, what's her face is just like humping him and yeah, yeah, yeah. just being like, "Don't die, I love feel, you." Feel bad for uh, Daenerys's brother who gets killed in the first season. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I want to be cool. Yeah. Well, here's a bunch of gold on your head. Yep. This is not cool. <laughs> And then and the and SNL Hodor made a, an appearance, and then Keenan Thompson tells Hodor, "Hey, can you hold the door on your way out?" And then he's like, "Hold the door, hold the door!" <laughs> and he starts freaking out. And I'm like, <laughs> "I get it. I I haven't seen that episode. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I haven't watched the last couple of seasons. I watched I'm the last one. I'm just waiting for it to all finish. Yeah, I watched the last one. What was it? Seven or whatever. Yeah, and uh, I like it." I like it, but uh, they're starting to like set up a lot of like the the end stuff, which is good. Like it's only taken them seven seasons to get to that point where a lot of these characters are meeting finally. Yeah. So, oh god, it's a long, long journey to the Blue Moon Tower. I'll tell you what, boy. Yeah, I think the last. I think the last one I watched was season six. Season six is pretty dope. I like the one part where, like, was it, I think it was in season six where, like, spoilers. They they they, uh, they do that one fight with all the people, and then the White Walker dude comes out and like revives them all. Mm-hmm. Like, that was cool. I am dying and I'm dead. <laughs> We've gotten so off track with this game. Like, I just don't know if I'm prepared to do anything <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Sweet. How far is that going to set me back? If it sets me back really far, I'm not playing this anymore tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll round out this episode and then we'll play something different. <laughs> I'm not running all the way through that shit again. Well, I mean, you did stand in the middle. Oh, yeah, but of... I was casting a spell. Yeah, well, your spell sucked dick. I was cast... Yeah, it sent me all the way back to the beginning where we started <laughs> this episode. <laughs> all right, I'll run back up to a certain point. I don't want to. I don't want to do all that again. <laughs> This was a real zoom. I mean, this way. <laughs> <laughs> we did that one other time when my fan was acting up on the PS3 too. We played one episode and then the fan acted up. I'm like, alright, well, we're out of here. Well, at least the fan's not doing it anymore. Yeah, because the... Hi, well, we are humble goblin Because it, it was the thermal paste that did it. We were talking about Pussy Beer in that episode, I think. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. That's Melissa's favorite episode. Pussy Beer? Yeah. Oh, no, I think it was called Trudy Spice or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think that's a thing anymore. Like, I don't I don't know if it was ever a thing. 
<laughs> well, it was a thing. Like, they were trying to do it, but I don't think it ever... Because I don't think it passed any health things. Good. Yeah. The yeast from a woman's pussy doesn't seem like the most healthiest thing to drink. I would not drink right. that. Oh, something went flying away. That was weird. Yeah, it's it's like such a fucking long journey just to get to the goddamn tower. Yeah, there it is over there. It takes a long time to get there. Do, 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 do. I wonder if it would have done something different if I hit retry from checkpoint. Probably. Whatever. Almost. Maybe almost I'll, certainly. Maybe I'll just have to save more often then, huh? I don't think I saved it. Because he usually does that in the background. Let me kill this pack of wolves. And then we'll play something different. 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 I got an idea what we can play. Your mama. <gasps> I also forgot to get the timer out, so next time on Chin Strap Chaps, we'll get our shit together. When you spill Viagra in retirement home's water tank, zombies bang. <laughs>